new day and I've actually been up for like five hours I would say I don't know it's like the afternoon now but basically I just got a lot of different chores done so I like Swiffered and mopped up all my floors I recycled boxes away put some self tanner on edited some vlogs you know just the usual stuff but today is gonna be a really exciting day because my bedside table comes in the mail as well as my outdoor chair because I'm actually gonna have one on my balcony and it is so freaking cool. I can't wait to show it to you guys. And yeah, that is pretty much all that I have for you guys right now. I'm saying goodbye to my parents right now so I wanted to uh, give a little goodbye. Mwah. Thank you so much on camera. Mwah. It's been so nice having them and you know, just you guys really brought in a very homey vibe into the house and you guys helped out a lot. So, um, final words. Well, we'll Good be luck. back soon. <laughs> With the more vibes. I hope so, yeah, there you go. Make the best memories. So I just said goodbye to my parents because they left for the airport. Uh, but I do have a few things that I have to do today. But before I do that, I want to show you guys two pieces that came in the mail today. And I am so excited about them. I'm pretty much excited about like everything in my room. But the first one is this bedside table right here. And now that this is officially here, I seriously do think I'm gonna get a new bed and I know this bed is in good condition a lot of you guys are like Claudia why are you getting new furniture but honestly when I first moved here last year I wanted to you know stay within a budget and just buy really cheap Ikea furniture that would last me the year and that would look you know somewhat cute but this year I decided that I really want to invest in my room and get pieces that I really like and not really set any limits so that's why I'm buying you know, some furniture that is newer. Some of them I'm obviously still keeping. That's kind of the reasoning behind that. But I think that, you know, I if I want to change up my room and I can afford it, then why the heck not, right? It's freaking gorgeous. It might be my favorite piece in my room. So basically the legs are crisscrossed and it's like a dark brushed chrome. And then the drawer is like a grayish white painted wood with a little black handle and it is absolutely beautiful oh my goodness right now it doesn't match too much to my room but once i get my other pieces it'll definitely help tie in kind of like that earthy vibe that the drawer is giving off so just you wait guys it will totally match in a bit and the second piece of furniture is actually outside on my balcony i knew that i wanted a swinky chair out here and when i saw this at mod shop i fell in love with it. This pillow actually goes up here. Yeah, basically it has a black metal base and then this part is white. It has a really nice like geometric kind of look to it. It's so comfortable. It's like bouncy and it's so perfect. So yeah, I bought that from Mod Shop as well as the little side table over here. As far as what's going down now, I'm going to head over to Bed Bath & Beyond because I need to pick up some organizational bins to put underneath my sinks to store like extra towels and then also I want to get one of those like laundry bin carts because I don't really have a laundry basket I mean I do actually it's right there I'm such a liar but I want to get one of those carts that either has two or three compartments so that I can separate like darks from lights. A nice little, you know, cart, laundry cart would be great because then all I have to do is just drag it out into the hallway. So that is what I'm gonna go pick up right now. Literally the best invention in the entire world. I love it. So I just got a bunch of stuff from Bed Bath & Beyond and I did not vlog at all because I'm a butt and there were a lot of people and it was really quiet in the store and I'm just a really sucky vlogger. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys what I got once I get home. So here are the things that I bought. For starters, I got some little sandal slippers. Drew actually bought these and he showed them to me and I was like, oh my God, I am getting them. They are so cute. They've got memory foam in them and they're just super fuzzy, so I got those. Then I got a bunch of these little command strip like refillers because I have a bunch of hooks and I needed some more of the little sticky stuff. Stuff. I got some ginger peach green tea. I love this green tea and they like sell food there who freaking knew then for my bathroom I got these little metal mesh bins for my different makeup products and stuff Also for the shower I got this little drain protector so that no hair goes down the drain at least that's what I think Yeah, honestly, I feel like my hair is gonna go through that 
I don't know. We'll see. I also got this plastic cement colored garbage can, which is gonna match perfectly in the bathroom. And I also got this white marble garbage can, and I believe I'm gonna put it right there where that little uh, basket is. I also got a nice little white marble soap dispenser, this little thing. I'm actually probably just gonna keep like my retainer on this, honestly. Oh, or I could put like rings on it or something. I don't know, that's probably a lot more appealing than a retainer. Um, I got some smaller garbage bags for those two. Hey guys, so it's about 10 p.m. right now and I'm with Kelly. You've actually never been on my vlog channel, so here we go. Hello. Viewers meet Kelly. Kelly meet camera lens which will then translate into viewers yeah all right we get it <laughs> then we've got Jack over here hey. um, so basically I want to hear your guys's input and opinions on this but literally 0.2 seconds ago I found out that first of all Tyga cheated on Kylie you know thumbs down and the second news we found out is also related to the Jenners. <laughs> Apparently, Scott and Courtney are over, and I'm actually more sad about that because I really did like them as a couple. I want to hear what you guys think about this, so comment down below. That's really sad. They have like kids and everything, and Terrible. yeah, I guess he was like found with another girl yeah. or something. I don't know. I mean, like, why am I investing so much into like <laughs> someone else's life? I don't know, that's entertainment for you. But yeah, we're pretty much just sitting here and really doing nothing. Drew is at work right now. He comes at 10, or he ends at 10. Yeah, so he's probably like on his way home right now. It's pretty much our night so far. Crazy. So I'm sitting here reading a bunch of your guys' comments on my vlog so far. And for the most part, most of you guys are really liking them, which makes me really happy because I'm having really fun with this. I remember having so much fun doing this last year, so I'm so happy to be doing it again this year. But I saw one comment, and honestly, it was only like one, unless I haven't seen others, and the comment was like, Honestly, like all these vlogs consist of you showing off what you're getting or you talking about what you're getting and wanting to show it off, whatever, something like that. And that is like not the reason that I want to make this at all. For the past week, obviously, I've been working a bunch on my bedroom and stuff, so that's kind of been like the focal point of most of my days. Like I haven't really done very many social things, especially during the day. I'm kind of just doing my own thing and you know, buying things for my room and stuff. So pretty much that's like the only thing that I have to talk about this week, I guess. So I guess I just wanted to get your guys' opinion on that. I do not want to rub off in that way at all. I know that a lot of you guys appreciate my interior design, taste or whatever you want to call it. I personally love doing it so freaking much. Like I am obsessed with putting pieces together and making a room look really cute. So this has been really fun for me and you know, I think it's cool to watch someone go through a huge creative project like this and see kind of like what they think will go together and how their vision actually comes to life and all this stuff and like the things that, you know, you find that others would be like, oh my God, that's not gonna match at all. And then you put it in and it fits perfectly and stuff like that. I don't know, it just fascinates me and it gets me really excited and it just gets my creative juices flowing and pumping. Um, so for the most part, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing, but yeah, I just don't wanna come off in that way at all. It's really just me wanting to show you guys like what I'm doing with my room and my whole creative process and stuff because I'm really, really excited about it. So that is my little speech for the night. <laughs> so I'm about to get ready for bed, but I quickly wanted to end off today's vlog. Um, so Kelly and Emily are currently staying with us. It's Kelly's birthday right now. And us five, we're just kind of chilling. We ran over to Ralph's. Emily was wearing a blanket. It was pretty ridiculous, but it was really funny. I forgot to bring my vlog camera, which is so dumb. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.